In this video, I'm going to answer common questions about bootloader unlocking, as well as demonstrate the paid bootloader unlock process. On the left, I've got a carrier branded, in this case Rogers, uh, Xperia Arc. And on the right, I've got my generic unlocked uh, Xperia Arc S. So before we start off, I'm just going to have a slideshow with common questions about bootloader unlocking. What is a bootloader? Software that runs before the firmware is loaded. It tells the phone where to find the firmware and what to load. For example, only load official firmwares. Why is it locked? The manufacturer locks it, so custom firmwares cannot be loaded. The bootloader may also contain things like digital rights management keys to protect digital content from being copied. Examples are Video Unlimited and Track ID. Why would you unlock a bootloader? To be able to do any of the following. Install custom ROMs. Install alpha or beta ROMs such as Sony's official ice cream sandwich. Install custom kernels such as overclocking or pre-rooted kernels. Uh, custom ROMs typically require a recovery manager such as Clockwork Mod. Does it void the warranty? Depends on your carrier and local Sony Ericsson, but most likely, yes. Is it reversible? It depends on the device. Can it damage my phone? The act of unlocking itself isn't dangerous. It's what you do afterwards. For example, loading custom ROMs, tweaking system files, or over-the-air updates. You can brick your device if you don't know what you're doing. Do I need to SIM or network unlock my phone? SIM and network unlocking is separate from all firmware and the bootloader. You cannot flash your firmware onto your phone to SIM or network unlock it. You need to buy an unlock code. However, typically when you unlock the bootloader, the SIM or network unlock will also be removed. This does not work in reverse. SIM network unlocking your phone will not unlock your bootloader. Can my phone's bootloader be unlocked? Yes, all 2011 Xperia phones can be unlocked. If your phone is carrier branded, there is only one method to unlock it. You need to pay to have it unlocked. If your phone is a generic unbranded phone, there may be multiple methods to unlock it, depending on the model. What are the different methods of bootloader unlocking and how are they different? There are two methods of unlocking your bootloader depending on your phone's lock state, branded or generic. The first method is to use the official Sony website, unlockbootloader.sonyericsson.com. This only works for generic phones. The second method is to use third-party software, SE Tool 2, which works on all phones, or S1 Tool, which only works on certain models. Method number one, using the official Sony Unlock Advantages and disadvantages. Uh, it's free, but it only works for generic unlock phones. It erases all the data on the phone and erases the DRM key so app apps like Track ID and Video Unlimited no longer work. Even if you relock your bootloader, these apps will still not work. Over the air updates may fail and subsequently break your device. Method number 2A using SE Tool. It works on any phone, locked or unlocked. However, it costs money. It maintains all your data. It maintains the DRM keys, so Track ID, Video Unlimited, and other apps still work. It can also be used to repair uh, bricked phones. Method 2B, the S1 tool. It's free, it maintains all data, and it maintains the DRM keys. However, it is only available for unlocked uh, certain unlocked phones such as the X10, the Mini, and the Arc, but not the Arc S, the Neo, the Play, and the Ray. That's the address. It's also included in the description. Uh, make sure you read everything uh, because I'm not responsible if you do anything or damage your phone. I didn't use this method, so use it as your at your own risk. So how long does the process take? 
It typically only takes about 10 or 15 minutes uh, it, once your computer has been set up properly with all the software. How do I know which method is available for my Xperia? Go into the dialer and type in star pound star pound service. Pound star pound star. Next you're going to choose service info and lastly configuration. At the bottom, you'll see bootloader unlock allowed. If it's a yes, you can use any of those three methods. If it's a no, you the only method you can use is the paid SE tool too. Hopefully that slideshow answered any questions you had about bootloader unlocking. Now I'm just going to show the difference between a generic phone and a carrier uh, branded phone. So on the left, I have a regular ARC LT15, and on the right I have a generic ARC S LT18. So if I go into the dialer and type in and go into the service menu, and if I go into service info and then into configuration you'll see that it says bootloader unlock uh, no so if, if your phone says this the only way to unlock it is to use the paid method now onto the uh, generic arc s again And if I go into service info and then configuration, it says bootloader unlock allowed yes. So this means that the bootloader can be unlocked using either the official method or using uh, the paid method. Unfortunately, the LT18 cannot be unlocked using the uh, free tool that still maintains DRM. Uh, so now I'm just going to walk through uh, some, of, some of the websites and other information about bootloader unlocking. If you go on YouTube, there are already videos uh, explaining how to unlock the bootloader for generic phones. So the Xperia Arc, the X10, um, how to relock the bootloader, the X10 Mini Pro, and there's other videos as well. Uh, if you have an X10, the tool was re released back in September on how to unlock your bootloader. Um, you have to downgrade your kernel and upgrade it and use the flash tool. So follow the instructions and uh, make sure you read everything because you can damage your phone if you don't do it properly. So now on to the 2011 Xperia's. This is the official met method from Sony Ericsson using the tool to uh, unlock the bootloader. So this erases all the data on your phone. It also erases the DRM keys. You can't use programs like Track ID or Video Unlimited. Here are all the phones that it supports. Uh, this is just a video from Sony Developer World showing an alpha build of an ice cream sandwich. So there's no radios yet. No radio, no Wi-Fi, no GSMs. So you can't actually use it, but you can just go through the software and play with it. So to use this, you obviously have to unlock your bootloader. This is the S1 tool. This shows you how to unlock the bootloader and maintain DRM data. This again only works if you have a generic unlocked phone. So one that says no, I mean, sorry, one that says yes in the service menu. Just download all the programs and follow the instructions. And you're gonna need either a paper clip or a safety pin or something to connect the different points. So these are images showing where the test points are on each of the different phones. Uh, on the Xperia Ray, it's this red dot. On the Arc, you have to actually lift up uh, this piece of plastic, which I'll show later. The Neo, the Play, the Mini, the Mini Pro, the Active, etc. Uh, so all these websites will be in the description. So now I'm just going to show what happens when you use the paid bootloader unlock. So to start off, go to multi-upload. 
and you're going to download this zip file. Inside, you're going to find four programs. Uh, Hamachi, which is a virtual private network program, so that uh, Jinx, the person I had unlocked my bootloader, can access your computer. TeamViewer allows him to remotely control your computer to run all the software. Uh, USB over network allows him to connect USB uh, peripherals like the smart card and other things onto his computer and still access it on your computer. And this is the Sony Ericsson tool that allows him to unlock uh, the bootloader. So once you've downloaded all the software, uh, you're going to have to prepare your phone to be unlocked. So on the ARC, you're going to have to remove this piece of plastic that sits right here above the SIM card. And then that allows you to connect the test point to either ground or this SIM card holder uh, to complete the connection. And then once you complete it, you can put this piece of plastic back and cover up those test points. Before you start the process, make sure you're in an administrator account, disable any firewall and antivirus program. So first up, you're going to open up TeamViewer and then send Jinx the ID and the password so he can remotely connect to your computer. Once he's connected, he's going to install all the required programs and set it up. So the first step is to create a VPN, which is a virtual private network. This allows his computer to appear as if it's on the same network as your computer. Now he's just going to install all the different drivers required to uh, connect to your phone. Once the drivers have been installed, he's going to start up SE tool, which is used to flash your phone. Once this message shows up, you're going to take a wire or paper clip and connect the test points on your phone. Once you've connected the test point, you plug in the USB cable. Once it's in test point mode, you can remove the wire and then click ready again. The program will now flash and unlock your phone. It only takes a few seconds and as you can see it's already done. And that's it. Your bootloader is now unlocked. The DRM keys are still maintained and all your data is still on your phone. At this point he's just going to make a backup of all your files and uh, delete any files left over from the flash tool. And that's how you use the paid bootloader unlock. If you have any questions contact Jinx directly or go to his thread. Everything's linked in the description.